text-to-3D model generation is now possible thanks to this new tool called Meshi.ai. Today, we're going to be diving in and taking a look at some of the awesome things that you can create using this tool right now for free. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. So this is what it looks like when you first log into Meshi AI and we can see all of the community generated 3D models as well as the prompts that were used to create them. So just clicking in here, you can see this high quality sneaker model made by using the text prompt knee high converse all star shoes orange coloring. Check out this full body line. I mean, this is incredible just how this AI is able to create these realistic 3D models based off of the text prompts. Here we have a Kabuki clothing set. One of the cool one is when we combine different animals together for the prompts and it actually is able to generate something that looks somewhat usable for a character. Obviously there are some artifacts that are messing up here such as multiple eyes on this character and then maybe the texturing isn't perfect but for a starting ground this is going to help creatives get from a base idea to something more usable much faster. Check out this Godzilla handmade one. This one is incredible. Just look at all of those details. Also impressive, it's a small owl statue. Now, I can already tell that some of these assets would populate a scene like an environment pretty easily. If we're not needing to look at the backs of some of these models, then you can arrange them without really having to do too much touching up. So let's hop into creating one of these ourselves. Now, you start off with 200 free credits. Let's go to the text to three section and I'm going to try an example a chest of gold sea of thieves it's only going to take five credits for this one we can go ahead and click generate you can see it's going to say the estimated time which is about one minute for this to generate and the credit cost which is five credits over here I haven't selected an art style yet and let it automatically pick one it's a pretty low resolution version we click refine that's where some of the more details come in especially because it's going to take five minutes to refine the model and about 20 credits per refining i don't think i want to go with this one let's try something a little bit more creative for our refining process i'm going to go back to the prompt area let's have a dog standing with a cone on its head and wearing a hoodie let's even make it a bit anthropomorphic so i'm going to add that Let's add highly detailed cartoon style. Now for the negative prompts, I want to put in blurry, noisy, grain, deformed figures, too many fingers, extra limbs, and extra eyes. These creative AI generators use tags to train their models. If you have your prompt with enough tags, it'll be able to use that to define whatever you want to create. Now for the negative prompts, sometimes you may come up with models with extra limbs or deformed figures, and it actually helps to include this inside of the negative prompt to tell it to avoid these sort of things. So it's a little bit of a, a little trick if you guys are running into some of these issues here. I want this in a cartoon style, so I'm gonna set the art style here. It doesn't really matter what the seed number is. I'm gonna click generate. Okay, that has finished creating this hex to 3D model. And I gotta say, this is pretty impressive. I can see the dog is standing wearing a hoodie. The cone head aspect is mixed in there. I, I probably didn't prompt it properly for that, but I can see that the hoodie is a little bit cone shaped. I like this yellow one here at the end. So I'm gonna click on this one and hit refine. Now by default, the refining settings are set to medium. We can crank this up to a high texture richness, which I'm gonna do. While that's refining, I can click on any of these other versions and click preview. And it's gonna load up here on the right hand side in a 3D viewer. Here you can also adjust some of the additional settings such as the lighting, the environment, the texture rendering modes, as well as getting a glimpse at some of the statistics for this model such as how many vertices and how many faces are being used to generate this. Interesting because we get the dog ears here whereas these ones the dog is wearing the hoodie. Something a little strange is happening here. I don't know if these are fangs but this detail here with the tongue sticking out that's that's very cool and of course this does look like a dog. We have the snout, the face shape, the eye shape, and then even though it's anthropomorphic and this dog is standing up, we have the detail of a tail to indicate that yes, this is a dog. So this is a really great job for the model just going from a text prompt 
to a 3D model in a matter of minutes. All right, now we have the final refined model. Let's go back to the original one that it generated before the refinement and after the refinement. Wow, this looks so much better. I love the art style that it used. We also get a color map to preview all the textures that it used and generated for this, which is just freaking insane. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to go ahead and regenerate this, I could also specify some more things like what sort of breed the dog is. What's also super cool here is that we get to see all of our past generations and the prompts that were used to generate them as well as which ones were refined. This is a really great UI, really useful tool. And if I wanna go ahead and download this, I can get it in multiple formats so I can use it in Blender, 3ds max or even after effects i'm gonna go ahead and download this as an obj file which is gonna cost another 20 credits so you can see how quickly using this model is gonna run through a lot of the credits if it takes roughly 40 or so credits to go from a text prompt to a refined model that you can download now this is just the tip of the iceberg because their text to 3d generator is just one of the four tools that they're really promoting now, aside from text to 3D, they also have AI tutoring, image to 3D, and text to voxel. Another thing to note about the credits is that if you wanna get more credits, it's on a monthly plan, and they give you 200 credits per month for free, but all of the assets that you create with this are gonna be shared publicly. Whereas if you sign up for their pro plan, which is priced here at $20 a month, they're gonna give you a thousand credits per month, but those assets at least you own and you can use without them being shared publicly. So that's one of the benefits. And I think for that, it sounds like a pretty good bang for buck, especially taking a look at some of these other assets that were created like this golden dragon head. This one is just freaking impressive. And another really cool aspect of this is that we can remix any of these community generated based off of the prompts. And let's say if I wanna make this a full body statue instead of just a head statue, I can go ahead and click generate and make a model based off of that earlier model. So this is really impressive. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this. Of course, links are gonna be in that description box. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.